All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem Rechakodash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechakodash, that's the Holy Spirit. And we're also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, pretty much we're going to do a quick lesson on this social media post that I uh, ended up seeing. And it's, uh, this is what, um, you know, what it says. It says, CPD detective says, police can't do much about chaotic crowds, but stand back and let things happen. All right. And um, pretty much the reason why this uh, detective said that is because uh, pretty much at the, uh, at the beginning of this week, the uh the temperatures just jumped like 30 degrees all right because for the longest it was about like 40s 50s 60s at most were like overcast it was raining non-stop you know for the uh the month of april and you know the beginning of may pretty much and then um out of nowhere it literally just hopped to like upper 80s like 90 degrees so with that being said pretty much everybody and their mom was outside you know going out you know going to the beaches going to the parks all right, you know, uh, going to restaurants, so on and so forth, right? And um, in particular, you have this one beach out here in Chicago called North Avenue Beach, and that's pretty much like the party beach of the city. You, you got everyone from the city, doesn't matter from what side of town you're from, they'll go to it. You have people that are from the suburbs that'll even go to this particular beach. And uh, with that being said, there's mobs and mobs of people, right? And I gotta say this, in that area where that beach is at, it's a very wealthy neighborhood. It's called, uh, it's a, in between two neighborhoods called Old Town and, and, and um, Gold Coast, okay? And that's where old Esau money's at, okay? That's old money over there, all right? Then you got, you know, heathens and, uh, uh, you know, Jake's over there that also have money too, but I got to keep adding. That's where old Esau money's at, okay? So with that being said, they don't really like all this, you know, commotion going on. They don't like the fact that there's all this chaos going on but it is what it is though because hey that's that part like i said that's that party beach all right and uh can you start off with that scripture arc oh salaki can i read this real quick it says the detective who did not want to be identified has been with the department for more than 15 years he says when it comes to dealing with big crowds like those wednesday night there is no real strategy coming from the top there's no strategy and i'll say this real quick the reason why is because the CPD doesn't have manpower like that anymore. See, over the past you know few years, and especially the past two years, you've had numerous cops quit the job. They've either retired, all right, or they just straight up quit. And the reason why is because the ones who are you know uh, did a, like you know, let's say early retirement is they didn't want to deal with all you know all these protests, you know, whether it be for BLM, okay, whether it be all these um. You know, whether them, you know, pr uh, protecting downtown because of all these looters and rioters, they don't want to deal with that. Yeah, a lot of cops are just tired of, you know, ha dealing with the public. Okay. You know, you had this whole pandemic situation happen. A lot of people are on edge, you know, so they're tired of it. Then you got the, you know, this new generation that they don't want to be cops anymore because it comes with a bad, you know, reputation. All right. A lot of cops, you know, a lot of people just don't like cops, all right? They don't like the system, so they're not going to be a part of it. So that's why they're, they have a very, very low manpower, man, okay? You see? And this is all um, systematically designed because the elites, they want chaos to occur. So then they can do what? Implement martial law, and they can, um, um, they can get their new world order going, Okay? Because, look, another thing, too, is a lot of these cops, they're all about the Constitution, you know what I mean? They're all about, you know, America. And see, these elites, they don't care. They, they, they want their NWO to get going so that they can put everybody in one category, all right? But uh, can you get those scriptures, Ak? This is Second Ezra 15 and 14. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yep, which means destruction, okay? Mass destruction is coming to this place. It says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Exactly. So there's going to be a lot of, you know, different type of fighting out here. 
All right, you're gonna have people who are gonna, you know, I'll say it like this: there's gonna be race wars, to class wars, to um, uh, how would I put this? You know, the government, you know, and the, and the citizens fighting one another. There's gonna be all types of fightings. All right, gangs. When I say gangs, I'm not talking about necessarily, you know, you know these, you know, popular gangs, you know, fighting one another. All right, I'm talking about just, you know, group A versus group B. You know, because it's just gonna be. You know, band, bands of people linking up with one another, all right, to get, you know, resources to do X, Y, Z, whatever it is, man, okay? So a lot of uh, death and destruction's coming, all right? This is for there should be sedition among men. Yep, and sedition, when you go into that word, it basically means an uprising against the government, okay? So they, they, we're, we're in them stages right now, because a lot of people are upset. Hey, their livelihoods are, you know, aren't doing too, you know, well right now, you know. People are getting uh, taxed nonstop. The, the prices of food is going up, gas, so on and so forth. It, it's, it's looking real bad. Right, and ever since the whole, uh, you know, the riots that happened, you know, people seen what they could get away with. People yep. seen, like, how the, the police react. So now they have an idea, and now they have less respect for them. Yep. That, that's why ever since then, people you hear more about people, you know, going at it with the cops, not caring about what they say, fighting, fighting them, talking back to them, you know. And it's only gonna get worse with what the brother just said, you know. Uh, uh, on top of that, you have you do have those gas prices, you know, the the shortage of food and and all that. Yep. You know? All right. that all that is 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 a perfect recipe for great chaos. That's right. It says, uh, for there should be sedition among men. And invading one another, they shall not not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's right. So they're not going to worry about what the you know, president says to the mayors, to the you know aldermen, to your you know, uh, you know your police officers. They're not going to care. Okay. Right. And, yeah. uh, you got it. Like no, it. you got it, Doc. Hey, on top of that, Issa's getting exposed, so people are starting to see the true colors of the uh, of these. So that's even more anger. You know, towards the government. That's right. Know? And then you know, and they're they're looking really weak, like you said, Ark. Because look, I'll say this: a, a social media post like this, this gets spread around. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, your your local thug, all right, gangbanger, little punk out there sees this, man. Okay. Hey, yeah. one of them sees sees it. They they tell you know their friends about it. Their friends' friends. Okay. Now, next thing you know, you got people looting, uh, looting. You know, Louis Vuitton. Okay. Looting Gucci. All right, you know, not n n knocking old Edomites out, you know, that are in the area. You know what I'm saying? This is what starts happening. All right, they know what they can get away with. All right, and these police officers, look, for every one police officer, you got what a hundred people. You think they're really gonna do something? They're trying to get back home too. A lot of them have, you know, a, a whole family. They're not trying to risk their lives, you know, to yeah. to defend, you know, this place. Which a lot of them, they don't even care for for this whole system you know they they've they seen how they've been done dirty a lot of them are i'll say this a lot of them they're, they're seeing their pensions getting wiped out right before their eyes that, that's got a lot of anger in them man remember that so a lot of these guys are going to put the badge down right and and the spirit too the spirit isn't the same like back in the day back in the day you had the the what do you call it the all americans the patriots that you know now you don't have that people now just join the army join the police force and all that just to make money they see it as a job instead of something they're passionate about yeah they're civil duty <laughs> you know so when there's an actual situation where they gotta risk their lives a lot of them are gonna be like nah fuck that <laughs> i'm not gonna do this shit yep you know that says verse 17 and why should they i mean look how the, the the government treats their people you know what i mean why should they even care you know it only makes sense this is what happens when you're a cruel ruler. Yep. You know? I got one right quick. This is uh, uh, Isaiah 19, and I'm going to start at 2. This is, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Woo. And they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. You know, and eventually that's, that's what it's going to uh, boil down to. Because, you, you know, 911 uh, uh, um, is not going to be here for that long. You know, eventually it's going to be everybody for their own. You're going to hear in the news like, yeah, you know, the police doesn't want to do their job. 
everybody just you know take you know precaution buy you know buy a gun if you need to you know exactly it was like i'll say this when it remember when it first warmed up like that first warm day a couple weeks ago mm-hmm. it was like two weeks ago or something like that mm-hmm. even if they were trying to call 911 right 911 right your call wouldn't even be able to go through to the dispatcher because there's so many calls oh, yeah. coming in yeah. okay because that, that's what happened when it first got warm the very first warm day the, there was a dispatcher that said he's never seen it like this in his life and he's been working for that job for a couple years you know what i'm saying i think it was like five six years he was a uh, he's been a dispatcher and he said he's never seen it that bad and that was the very first day of the warm weather he was saying that you got domestic violence cops getting beat up um you, you had a uh, 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 you know you know uh, shootings everywhere all right babies you know they already say babies choking on you know coins and stuff he said it was insane so and this is what's coming man so a lot of you people are about to get judged man because as time goes by as we made that statement Look, these 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 people are gonna know that they can get away with things, so they're gonna start doing some, you know, horrific crimes, man. Oh yeah. All right. Hey, I mean, the scriptures say it, you know, because judgment not executed speedily. Yeah, you know, their heart, their heart is set to do evil. So when they see the cops and all, we're not gonna do it. Anything, they're gonna they're gonna go off even more. Oh. This is uh, Second Chronicles fifteen and five. It says, and in those times there was no peace to him that went out, nor him that came in. But great vexations were upon all inhabitants of the country, and that that's going to happen again. You know, there's not going to be any peace. You, 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 it's going to be a whole battle just trying to go outside and get some food. Oh yeah. Just trying to go outside and get to your car, and that's if nobody has bro- broken in your car or broken in, in, into it to get gas out. Exactly. I mean, you look know? at uh, San Francisco. That's a daily thing. That's a daily thing where, where people are getting their cars broken into. Like that's like somebody stealing a bar of candy, man, at a store. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, literally, that's how bad it is out there. Like, people literally post, like, a sign. Like, you know, like, you know, they'll have it on their window saying, there's nothing in this car. Please do not, you know, break in. Because they don't want to deal, you know, of course. Because, you know, when you, once you get your windows broken, that's like $200, 300 bucks, man. You know? So, you know, that's already happening in some cities. But it's going to spread, man. Yeah. All right? Um, you got that's more to that or yeah, no? One more verse. This is a nation was destroyed of nation and city of city, for Yahweh did vex them with all adversity. Mm. You know, at the end of the day, is all that the Lord's doing. The Lord, the Lord is playing chess. So everything, all these things are are gonna ricochet to to actually uh, to make uh, the Lord's prophecy fulfilled, which is what the uh, you know all out chaos. The, the scriptures we read and right now in Second Ezra, the fifteen chapter, the scriptures we're reading now. You know, all that all that is playing off. To, to make these scriptures come to life. That's yeah. right. Can you uh, keep reading that second Ezra? Read down to like 19, I think. I think you got like a verse or two more. Bob Kind of, kind of. Uh, back, to, back to second Ezra 15. Now verse... Um, verse 17, it says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Exactly. And I'll say this. <clears throat> going back to that statement that I said about that area... That it's uh, North Avenue, that's the street, that's where the beach is at and all that. That area, right, like I said, that's, you know, money. And with that being said, I'll, oh, I'll say this first. Like, the, Chicago's geography, right, you have a lot of bridges, right? A lot of bridges. And with that being said, these bridges will cut you off from going from one part of the city to the other. So, those people who got that money... Eventually, at some point, they're going to, you know, be, you know, talking to the officials. And they're going to, you know, basically say, raise up them bridges, man. Yep. So they're going to raise up all these bridges. So all you Jakes, man, and you poor you poor Edomites and heathens that aren't, you know, of that upper class, you're going to stay on the west side of the city, the south side of the city, and the far north side of the city. Okay? You are not coming into these, you know, uh, these prestige areas anymore. Okay. Hey, and only that is gonna last a while. <laughs> yeah. Because even Esau is gonna desert them. Mm-hmm. You know? it, it, it's all gonna slowly but surely. That's how it's gonna happen. Doing, man. You know, and 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 then once you realize that everything's gonna be in all our chaos, you know, it's gonna be to the point where 
the government is gonna be like, you know what? Guy. Look at this fucking guy. There's no point in to sending a rescue team in that side of town because it's already through. You know what? We're gonna re we're gonna recall all all those soldiers and and you know whoever's out there. Hey, we're sorry. Yep. You know, it, that, that, I was gonna say they show you that in a lot of those apocalyptic movies with you know like uh uh you know these um so-called zombie movies. Yeah. They show you that all the time. Like, hey, hey, this pocket's done. We can't do nothing for it. We're, 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 we're saving that little sanctuary, you know? That's just how it is. You know? But hey, man, hey, that's coming, though, that uh, uh, we're, we're, you're not going to be able to enter into a city, you know, the martial law. Yep. And hey, and see, all these things that, that are about to occur, it's going to give Esau that justification to do it. Right. Oh, yeah, you guys are acting like animals, okay? So you're going to have to, you know, have a reason to come to, you know, you know uh, uh, this area or that area, you know what I mean? Or you, you, you have to have like some type of skill to get in here. Right. Oh, you, you, you don't have any true skills. You're not a doctor. You're not a, you know, electrician. You're not this. You're not that. Well, you're not coming in here because there's no use for you. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, that's how it's going to be. It says, verse 18, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Yep, and that's the main reason why all this is going to happen, man. That's why the Lord, as the, the brother brought out in that chronicles, those adversities are coming. Because of your pride. So, this is the result uh, of having, a, you know, a prideful, you know, lifestyle, man. Hey, the Lord, he, he's going to humble you. Yeah. It says, uh, the, the houses shall be destroyed and man shall be afraid. That's right. It says, and man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their house with the sword, houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. That's right. So, they, the, these are the times that we're entering into. All right, you know these things that were, you know, you know, uh, showing you through the spirit. This is just the tip of the iceberg. It, it, it's just gonna keep getting worse, man. It's gonna be a snowball effect. And we're, we're as the scriptures talk about, we're you know the beginning of sorrows. Okay, we're really in those stages now. These are the stages, of the beginning of sorrows. I'll say this: see, people are really feeling it, man. This this vibration out here. It's totally different than what it was, you know, two, three, four, five years ago. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> you know, they, they, you could you could sense the spirit on people, man. People are struggling. People are depressed. People are angry. Yeah. You know. Is yeah. that it on there? Yeah, that's basically it. But yeah, um, anything else? No, that that was pretty much it. You know, that's a, another reason why these people are acting more bugged out because they're going through all these things and you know they don't know how to deal with it, so they just you know over emotional. Compulsive. Yep. You know. That's so right. hey, you know, it's it's only a matter of time till you you see all this all this play out, man. We're not that far. We're already seeing the beginning stages. You know? That's right. So uh, with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. And uh, before we, you know, we close it out, we're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakudash. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom. Shalom.